We serve 9 million veterans in this country. 33% or a little over 3 million live in rural communities. So we convened a meeting of industry and said, the secretary would like to implement new partnerships that bridge the digital divide for veterans. We want to bring health care to where they live. We're going to launch Project Atlas. So Atlas became a foundational partnership for the secretary on how to reach veterans everywhere. As we were making this announcement, Phillips said, we can help you by donating telehealth equipment in partnership with the VFW and American Legion Posts so that veterans can have health care right in their community. So within 12 months, we made our commitment to support Project Atlas sites as part of a, a trial. We then traveled first here to Eureka, Montana. Then we went to Lyonsville, Pennsylvania, then Los Banos, California, and Springfield, Virginia. Within nine months, we've completely created a new delivery vehicle for telehealth. We have exceeded our own expectations, and I think the reason why is that everybody involved wants to get to yes. There are not a lot of no people around. VFW's mission is twofold. Our first is to serve our veterans. The second is to contribute to the community. Atlas addresses both because the veteran can get the care they need in a timely manner in a local setting. Eureka is 70 miles from Kalispell, which is our nearest VA clinic. The 70 miles is pleasant, the scenery is agreeable, but it's still 70 miles. So Atlas saves veterans hundreds of miles on the body over time. They don't have to leave home to take care of themselves and to live their best life. I think that's the genius of it. I come from a long, long family of veterans and this really is, is personal for me. I love the fact that I can give back. No better way in my mind to do that is to reach out into the community where people live and be able to offer this service. So we, we went through a process that we call co-creation and uh, we did that actually here in Eureka. So we came here with, uh, with our design team, uh, with, the, with the representatives from the VA, with the VFW and we actually met with the community and we walked them through the scenario of how would we deliver telehealth in your VFW post. We gathered real insights around how we could shape a, a positive experience for both the provider as well as the, uh, the veterans. The doctor isn't in some you know, barn you know, in the middle of nowhere, but they're sitting in the same room with you. So the TV screen is large enough so that it looks like they are your size. The camera in the room is as close to your eye level as possible, so the clinician feels as if the veteran's looking at them. We've designed this as an end-to-end -end experience, and you'll see that because when you walk in the door, there's a sign on the outside. You can see outside the building, this is Atlas. You come in a special entrance, and here you are. I realize we're the first site. That always carries some learning curve along with it. But Phillips, the caregivers, VA, VFW National, it, it's like it's all one team. So to see the completed unit, know it's working, it's monumental. I think we'll see a, a much more positive reception of it. So we have the VA out in front delivering innovative telehealth. We have Philips contributing their design expertise, their technical expertise, their strategic expertise, and now we have an ecosystem around bringing high quality health care to veterans, which has the potential to really transform their lives. Any one veteran that's having issues, if that could be addressed here in the pod, the entire community benefits.